What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex. Are you watching the Rage Nation show, Transformers 4 Edition? This is just a web series where we talk about all things that matter before production of the fourth installment of the live action Transformers film franchise directed by Michael Bay. This is update number 63. And the first thing you're probably wondering is why the heck am I wearing a scarf indoors? Well, it's freaking cold. It's cold as heck. Okay, it is cold as heck in Vancouver. It is zero degrees, just a big fat zero degrees. It is freaking cold out there. And it's cold in my room because I live in a basement, but you're probably wondering why did I not crank up the heat? Well, I do have a heater. It's right here, but this is also the place where I put all my freaking, ah, ah, just dropping stuff all over the place. Uh, this is my tripod. Check that out. I use CDs as a tripod and I dropped a couple of CDs. So let me just <laughs> put that back. So this is where my heater supposed to be. There's a heater buried somewhere out there, but I don't want to turn on my heater, you know, while there's a lot of stuff here because, well, um, I don't want my toys catching on fire. So <laughs> anyways, I just wanted to show you that and that way I can explain why I'm wearing a scarf. Anyways, moving on. First thing I want to talk about is concept art. No, I don't have any concept art to reveal to you guys. I just want to tell you that all the concept art that's out there is, is not fake, but it's not official. It is fan art. So there's obviously a, a lot of concept art out there and a lot of you guys have been uh, cool enough to send me all that concept art. I really appreciate it. But let me just tell you right now that none of it is actually official. There's this really amazing Grimlock concept art out there. And he's got a robot mode and a, and, a, and, a, and a beast mode. Everybody's sending it to me and telling me that this is Grimlock's official robot mode. It's been revealed. It's not. That's actually fan art. I'm letting you know right now. Nothing has been revealed in terms of revealing the robot modes. Nothing at all. Now, there might have been a leakage for the Optimus Prime concept art. Now, I don't know if that's, you know, what Optimus Prime is is um you know if i don't know if those are from the pages of ilm okay but all i know is that that's the closest thing to the revelation of, of optimus prime's robot mode next to the toy reveal from the hasbro booth at uh, uh new york comic con so there you have it the only thing that's been revealed in terms of the characters is the vehicle modes we've seen them all we've seen optimus prime we've seen both versions of bumblebee we've seen the lamborghini aventador the bagani huayra hound which is the oshkosh military support vehicle the the Freightliner Argo Z, uh, uh, um, uh, the Bugatti Veyron, which they're tentatively calling Drift, and also the C7 Corvette, which they're tentatively calling Slingshot or Crosshairs. All right, so that's all that's been revealed. That's official, okay? But everything else out there is fan art. I don't think they're going to reveal anything until maybe next year. I mean, well, it's got to be next year, but not this year. They're not going to reveal anything or leak anything out there uh, this month or next month, okay? It's all going to be sometime next year, and I think that we're going to see the first teaser trailer in January. So we're going to have to stay patient for a little bit, but let me just tell you right now, anything that you see right now, none of it is official. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about the Bagani Huayra. And right now, what they're, what ET Entertainment Tonight is releasing is their, I think it's a four-part series, one part released every day starting yesterday, of their coverage on the um, on location of the Transformers Age of Extinction shoot. Now, they just started releasing this yesterday. And yesterday was part one. And part one, they were at Detroit. And the host was um, checking out the cars and they were checking out she was checking out Bumblebee and she also checked out the Bagani Huayra and she kind of revealed the name of the Bagani Huayra now I'm saying kind of because I'm not even sure if this is 100% confirmed I'm going to say that it's 90% that the name that she says is going to be the Bagani Huayra and that is the name of Stinger now what does this mean to me not a whole lot <laughs> because I googled Stinger and there's no such character named Stinger as in like it never the name of Stinger never existed in Transformers lore correct me if I'm wrong but I don't th it's 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 not out there there's no information on a character named Stinger at all he's nowhere in the history okay so I don't know if it's going to be an Autobot I don't know if it's I still don't know if it's going to be Decepticon a lot of people thought it's going to be Cliff Hump Cliff Humper <laughs> Cliff Jumper <laughs> Cliffhopper, imagine that. Get to the edge of the cliff and start... Oh, never mind. Okay, we're going to keep it rated G. Okay, so Cliffhopper, I mean Cliffjumper, 
uh, a hot rod, Rodimus Prime, you know. So, um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be any of those. In fact, uh, they said that, she said that the name is going to be Stinger. Now, like I said, Stinger is just an all new name. It's, it's kind of like Brains or Jolt. Okay, these characters never existed in the trans previous Transformers lore. These were names made up for the live action films, which is kind of cool to me because I like the fact that they make up new characters just for the live action films because live action films are kind of like an its own entity, okay? They don't always have to use characters from the original lore. So that is kind of cool, but um but the the name the, the the fact that it's named Stinger doesn't really excite me a whole lot. You know, it's not something that's considered a spoiler just because you know, we don't even know if it's an Autobot or a Decepticon. Now, on the other hand, if they told us that the name was Rodimus Prime, that could mean a whole lot. But it's not. It's a character named Stinger, so there's really nothing to get excited about. Now, Stinger was seen also in Part 2 of the E.T. coverage. Now, in Part 2 of the E.T. coverage, it shows Stinger uh, rolling out with a white Aston Martin? Is that an Aston Martin or a Maserati? I don't know. Okay, it's one or the other. I don't know my, my supercars. But all I know is that it's rolling out with the white car and um, it, it, it something tells me it could be a Decepticon, like a Stunticon. Just because, well, there's just so many, there's just so many um, uh, Autobots already. You already got like so many uh, Autobot characters who have been seen rolling together. But you don't see the Pagani Hue are rolling out with the Autobots a whole lot. So, I don't know. His name is tentatively called Stinger. I think that it's going to be 90% chance it's going to be called Stinger. Now, keep in mind that there's a toy out there on the Hasbro list which got leaked where there's a character named Stinger. So, that tells you something. Now, I'm sorry to do this in front of you, but I got a runny nose. Okay. <laughs> so, took care of that. Now, moving on. Let's move on to part two of the ET coverage. And the host talked to Michael Bay, and she asked Michael Bay about revealing some plot. Come on, you know, you got to reveal something, okay? Can you tell the audience a little bit of something? And Michael Bay revealed something which I consider a little bit spoilerish. Now, okay, um, uh, he tells us a version of what's already been known, but... He really kind of confirms it with what I'm about to say. So, but since I already know this stuff, I'm, you know, I, you know, I'm okay to reveal it. But if you don't want to know about it, stop the video right now. Okay, done. Stop. You guys are stopped? Okay. All right. So what we're going to talk about is what Michael Bay said to the host of Entertainment Tonight. And um, he was revealing a little bit of a plot and um, plot details. And he says this. The world has progressed, modernized to a point it can almost cannibalize and kill itself. Now, I had to read that twice, and I believe that this confirms that there are humans that are going to reverse engineer existing Autobots or Decepticons, and they're going to make their own robots. They're going to make their own Autobots. They're going to make their own Decepticons, whatever. They're going to make their own Cybertronians, okay? So, remember that they were at filming at the GM Lansing plant? Well, what were they doing at a car plant, a vehicle plant, right? Well, it's possible that uh, people using their technology today, their modern technology, are going to create things that are going to end up killing themselves, just like Skynet. You create AI... Well, it's going to end up destroying you because it is self-aware and it gets smarter and smarter. Well, Michael Bay just revealed that that they're going to um, uh, um, it's going to modernize to a point where it's going to cannibalize and kill itself. So this kind of tells us a little bit something about the plot. And that is humans are going to destroy itself by by the things that they create. So that's why I think there's so many sports cars out there because they came from that plant. Okay, that vehicle manufacturing plant. And therefore, there all these vehicles kind of created a life of its own, I suppose. And then that's why 
Autobots need Dinobots to help them destroy them. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, that's all I got to say. Anyways, let me re let me say the line again. It is, the world has progressed, modernized to a point it ha it can almost cannibalize and kill itself. So make what you will of that. But let me just uh, tell you that uh, this is something that we kind of already know. Because there was a, uh, a kind of like a brief synopsis reveal where they're talking about humans and scientists kind of found a way to reverse engineer technology and then do something with that so there you have it okay that's all i gotta say in this video we're done with this video and um let me know in the comment section below about anything that i talked about in this video you're gonna want to stay tuned for update number 64 because we're gonna talk about michael bay and his lack of involvement in transformers 5 and 6 all right so stay tuned for that video and uh there you have it as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage of Nation, also follow me on Twitter, at Rage Nation. My name is Alex Yu, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, peace. In fact, I posted something on MichaelBay.com and he responded to me. I said that that um, I wasn't sure about him directing Michael Bay, um, directing Transformers 